What's up guys, it's Mr. Allen C and today we're opening our much anticipated G Fuel. We've been waiting for this. We got the glow in the dark shaker and some sour blue chug rug, which I hear is the best flavor based off everybody on the internet. I hope so, because I'm replacing Mountain Dew at work with this sugar-free drink. That's right, G Fuel is sugar-free and it's supposed to give you mad amounts of energy. So let's see, this is what the box looks like. Now my first question is, what in the heck is that? Ah, oh, I see what it is. Okay, let me get these all out on the table. Let me get it. I'm going to take a closer look at all of this in a minute. Oh wow, look at them hooking us up with some cool details and stuff. We're going to look at all this in just a minute. Let me just get it all unboxed here. Oh yeah, there's that glow in the dark. Okay, glow in the dark shaker. Okay guys, this is looking really good. Gotta watch over the head look. Okay, so we still got some unboxing to do here, but let's take a look what we got. This is pretty exciting right now. So, squad up with Moot. Download the app. G Fuel has an app with Moot? Oh, maybe it's a game. Download using QR code and receive 50 G Fuel XP. Well, I'm definitely downloading that because their XP is worth money. Plus, I want to be mute and I want to G Fuel it up. Next, Energy Formula G Fuel. I love the uh, artwork. Oh, is this a sticker? It is. It's a sticker. Perfect. I know where I'll put that. And then, we got that blue. Sour Blue Chug Rug. Dietary Supplement? Oh, it's a dietary supplement? This is inspired by Phase Rug. You guys know who he is. And uh, it's G Fuel. This is 40 servings. So 40 shakers full. This is pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. Um, we're going to pop it open and try it a little bit. Look at that. Crazy amounts of energy. Focus. Endurance. Reaction. So it's going to taste good, that's what they're telling me. It's going to give you energy, there's not sugar, so you're not going to be a big fat ass from sipping on Mountain Dew. Because let me tell you, I love Mountain Dew. If you watch the internet, if you ever see really fat people on the internet, who I love, I'm getting a little chunky myself, um, you'll usually see them drinking Mountain Dew their whole video. Alright, what else we got? And I was thinking of uh, the... YouTubers that do that. Okay, so now we got those flavor samples, so we can try all these flavors. Look at this. Let's see what's in here. Man, I went to ham on this. I got a lot of flavors. <laughs> okay, so this is really good. I, I went with this um, shaker with the flavor samples so I can find out what I actually like, if I like any of their flavors, because I don't know if I will. All the gamers say, oh, G feels so good. Well, you got to keep in mind that they have a referral program and they get rewarded when they sell G Fuel. So, I want to try it myself. I mean, everybody does say it's good. What do we got? We got watermelon, rainbow sherbet, sour cherry. Ooh, that sounds freaking good. Kiwi strawberry, blue ice, peach mango, and phaseberry. I'm going to be trying this with Jane. I can't wait. I contacted uh, G Fuel. I literally contacted them today. I said, I want you to hook up my channel. We're getting big. And uh, I want my own flavor. I want it to be called Dingleberry. And I'm dead serious. I think it'd be a hot seller. All right. Next, we got the G Fuel Glow in the Dark Shaker. Gotta check this out. They taped it up. Give me a minute. I'm unboxing. All right, there's the glow-in-the-dark shaker. We're gonna have to charge that up with some lights. I figured this one's cool because it's clear. You can see the colorful drink, which is half the fun, seeing the bright color. Like when you drink Mountain Dew, you love it because it's glowing yellow-green, you know? Well, this is gonna literally glow in the dark. And then on top of that, in the day, you'll see your colorful drink inside. Now, this is different. Um, Usually use shakers. So we got the uh, mouthpiece for your drink out. I can reseal. Then we 
got like a little mixing device inside. Let me open it. Alright, so there's the mixing device right here. I guess you just leave it in there when you shake it. Question for all you G Fuel pros. You just leave that in there when you're drinking it too? I'm assuming you probably do. But let me know, because I don't want to be doing something I don't want to. You gotta take it out every time you drink, and that would kind of like be a mess at work, so hopefully you leave it in there. Alright, so we're gonna ch test the glowing power of this shaker here in just a minute. Guys, if you want to get G Fuel and you want to get a discount, you get $5 off. Just use a special link in the video description, and yes, that is a referral link. Uh, is this stuff good? I have no idea. We're going to try it. Can't wait to try it. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Let's make this subscriber counter go off. It's really loud. It's awesome. Oh, well, yeah. Um, use the link in the video description. Get five bucks off. Just grab whatever you want. You don't got to go overboard. Get a shaker with these flavor tests. Like, that was $14.99. Look at all these flavors I get to try. And I got a glow-in-the-dark shaker. Like for $14.99, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Think about seven bottles of Mountain Dew and like a free shaker of your choice. I got the Golden Dark one. You can get any one you want. So for $15, bucks, you are pretty much paying for it with just the G Fuel. You're paying for over half of it with the G Fuel, and the shaker's like only five bucks. If you think about buying bottles of Mountain Dew in that term, in those terms, and then. These don't have sugar and you're going to get energy, so perfect. You don't want to be a fatty on your life. And if you're young, it's never a bad time to start because when you get older, you gain weight faster, so. All right. Well, that's about it. Um, I'm going to go mix some up and we're going to party out. You ready? All right. So, I cut the seal with my knife. Hang on, I'm just going to start the twist and then our very first open. Sometimes I hear the powder gets in the air and you'll smell it and you'll taste it and you'll get energized because this isn't the energy mix. Whoa! Naughty cap. And of course they got the quality seal so that's cool. Pretty hard to do one handed but I got it. Whoa! Were you expecting the powder for a blue drink to be to be uh, white crystal? Crystal clear? Uh oh. What is this? Is that even safe? What is that? That's the freshness crystals. Is that even safe to have in the powder? Performance dry. Contains a harmless absorbent. Okay, so I guess that's fine to have in there apparently. Um, wow. Oh, it smells good. I can taste it already. Alright, it's gonna be fun. So this white powder apparently turns blue. Now, I don't know how to measure this. I don't know how much to put in there. Does anybody know? Let's read the sign. It's not telling me a lot. Let's get the cap on and then we'll read it up close. Okay, so it says, add one scoop to 12 to 16 ounces of cold water. Shake or stir well before using. Um, I don't have a scoop. Come on, guys. They don't throw in a scoop. Seriously? What? What? I don't know how to make it now. They're killing me over here. What are you doing to me, G Fuel? Guys, you might want to throw a scoop on your order. We're going to go mix them up and just try random amounts. Or actually, let's just make a pack. We'll make a pack right now. What do you guys want to try? How about this sour cherry? And then this will give us an idea how much to put in there. Right? Yeah! Now we're thinking. Let's do it. Alright, I was putting this back in here so it'll stay fresh. And there is a scoop in there. I take back all those naughty things I said. I didn't know. There is a scoop here. So we're going to get that out. We're going to mix it up. Yes. It's just filthy. Alright, let's get ready. Alright, on this side it actually tells you ounces. So we got to add one scoop to 12 to 16 ounces of cold water. So take a look. See the 12 there. You can make it out. All the way to 16. I'm going to do 12 because I want it flavorful. So I'm going to go add this with water and then we're going to show you how the scoop works because it's kind of a special scoop. Okay, once again this said 12 to 16 ounces of water. So I put 12 ounces of water in there. 
uh, but for reference, that's 12 ounces, and it says up to 16 ounces. So 16 ounces is right at the line where the bottom of this shaker sticks down right there. You see that funnel thing right here? That is 16. So pretty much just fill the thing with water and add one scoop and it's gonna taste good. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the scoop now. It's kind of a cool scoop. So here's how it works. You go this way, right? And it fills it up, okay? And then it's got a little hole on top, so we're going to dump it out into there. So let me get the cap off and we'll dump it in. Alright, I'm hoping everything stays clean and it's easy to clean up in under a minute so that I can use it at work all the time. We're going to dump this scoop in. And this white powder is going to turn blue apparently. Oh, it's turning blue with, when mixing with water. Isn't that interesting? So, here's what's going on in the G Fuel right now. Guys, we're going to get it popping in just a second here. Let's get that lid back on and get ready to shake up our very first ever G Fuel. Get it. Hang on, boys, one sec. All right, I got the cap on. We're going to shake it. You ready? Oh, it's ready. Just kidding. You want to shake it for about a minute, they say. You know, but you all got your own preference. Maybe you want a little sugary substance in there. I can't imagine having to do a whole minute of it. It's looking solid to me. Now, we could have added more water, like we said, but we really want to get that flavor today. Um, yeah, this is looking solid. Most people will fill it right up to the bottom of this lip. Probably what I'll do in the future, but this is our first one, and I'd say we're doing pretty good, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Let's get the party started. We're gonna try all these G Fuel flavors together, so we're excited about that. We'll keep shaking, and I'm gonna get this thing glowing in the dark for you too. I just took it out of the box, so there. I'd say that's good to go. Now. Try it. Let's do it. All right, guys. It all comes down to this. Every day at work is going to taste like this flavor. <laughs> I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I can really smell it. It smells like those sour blue, like, chewy ropes. Let's taste it. All right. So it's not caffeinated, obviously. So it doesn't taste like Mountain Dew. It tastes kind of powdery. I'd say if this was colder, it'd probably be even better. I don't know. I think I can survive on this. It's kind of good. Um, it's not like, wow, that's as good as Mountain Dew. It's not. But it's pretty good. I mean, I've enjoyed it. I guess it's kind of like leaving a powdery, dry substance in my mouth, and I shuck it for about two minutes after I quit filming a minute ago. But uh, people advised me you gotta keep it super cold, and I was kind of like forming a powdery substance in my throat. Like, uh, I don't know if I like that. Hang on. Oh, it's so powdery. I can just feel it, it's like drying effect. So, not having the best reaction right now to it, but maybe I'll get used to it. We got a lot of good flavors to try out here. I mean, I guess it's the best alternative to Mountain Dew. It's one of the best shaking drinks out there. I mean, it's good. I'll get used to it. Guys, give it a try if you want. If you're looking to get energy. The good thing is, I can almost feel it giving me energy right now. Is that feel in my mouth? That reminds me I just drank an energy supplement. And I'm going to be feeling good. So... If you guys all slap that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below, I've done my best to give you an honest review. You know, is this my new favorite drink? Is it better than Mountain Dew? No way. No way. Is it better than Baja Blast? Nope. Not even that good. Is it better than Code Red? Yes. I'd rather drink this than Mountain Dew Code Red. Um, will this quench your thirst better? I don't know. I don't know, I feel thirsty after drinking it. Um, maybe if I add more water, it'll be less powdery. So that's something. I think I need to add more water next time. And uh, stay tuned for more G Fuel videos.
Don't forget to use the link in the video description to get five bucks off of anything on gfuel.com. And we're gonna check out the glow-in-the-dark shaker now, so get ready. All right, guys, I've done a couple things and it's improved my experience a lot already. I've added more water, the full 16 ounces, I reshook, and I added three ice cubes. The drink's colder, there's less powder because I added more water, it's less, it's more diluted, and it's much, it's going down a lot better, it tastes better, and now we're getting ready to show you the glow-in-the-dark functionality, so let's go ahead, and there you go, there's the glow-in-the-dark functionality looking good. Let's go over here where it's dark. This is what it looks like. Not super bright, but I haven't really had much time to charge it. You can see that it's kind of fading out because it hasn't had time to charge. But let's charge it up quick with a flashlight. Give it a minute here. When you do a quick charge like this, it's not going to last all day. But, just to get an idea what it looks like, I'll show you one more time. This is what it's going to look like when it's charged. It'll last a long time. Just been sitting in the sun a while, or in the light. But mine just came out of a dark box. Well, yeah, this is G Fuel. Looking good, guys. Looking really good. Now, what do we want to do? We want to try another one on camera. Because I diluted it, added ice. Let's do it again. All right, guys, we're gonna try it out now with ice and a little more diluted. For the first time trying. It. It's way smooth. It's going down. It's not chalky like before, and it's nice and cold. I like it. I can get on board with this. And the cool part is, it's giving me energy, and I can feel it. I can already feel it. Come on, guys, pick up some G Fuel if you want. Five bucks off. The link in the video description. I get some points. I can get more G Fuel. Obviously, I like it. Um, you know, it's not exactly what I had expected. But it is freaking delicious. It's good. So I'm pretty happy now that it's cold and we got the proper amount of water in there. But I'm not one of those kids reviewing it like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. It's good. It's not more good, good. But it's pretty good for a shake and drink. And it's going to give you energy. It's not going to make you fat like one. There's no sugar in there. For no sugar, this is insanely good. We're not having sugar. Compared to Mountain Dew, it doesn't have the caffeination. I'm sorry, it is. It is an energy supplement. What I'm saying is it doesn't have the, you know, the fizz, the bubbles, the carbonation. So I miss that a lot. But this is pretty good. I'd relate it to Kool Aid, but this is sugar free. Alright guys, thanks so much. Please do leave some comments below. Let me know your favorite flavor of G Fuel. Subscribe now. Please use my link in the video description. You'll get five bucks off. And I'll get five bucks. Bye bye. Let's see what beautiful girls that just got out of bed think about G Fuel. What do you think, dude? You need a chug jug of that? Ooh, dingleberry do berry. Oh, no. That's the new flavor. <laughs>